Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today we are doing an Ulta haul. I have this very dirty bag from Ulta full of a bunch of makeup goodies. It's been a really long time since I've done any kind of like full makeup haul or Ulta haul. Um, so I had you guys vote on whether or not you want to see an Amazon haul or an Ulta haul first and you voted Ulta So that's what we're doing. Like I said, it's been a really long time and I did forget that Ulta almost always sends stuff in bags now um, Which I hate honestly, so if you guys are curious to see what I got then just keep watching this video So the biggest thing which I'm shocked it could even fit in this bag is the Morphe 35Y Aura Scape palette now i did not get this for myself i actually got this for my cousin for her birthday because i thought it had some really cute shades in it it also comes with like this little paper on like some tutorials for some eye looks but i just thought it was really pretty um and i think she'll really enjoy it i did just kind of go through like the new section um so some of this is like new products and some of these are like new to ulta but i did pick up an about face blush this is the blush rush in this shade starting line this will be the first product I've ever tried from about face okay it doesn't really smell like anything I'm just gonna do ooh, a little swatch cute cute then I picked up the new NYX the face glue gripping primer I technically also tried to buy the setting spray, but as I checked out my cart, the setting spray was taken out of it. Like, I literally hit checkout, and then the setting spray was removed. So, I didn't get the setting spray, even though I actually wanted that more than this. <laughs> then we got the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush and Glow. I got this one in the shade Cafe. Um... I am super excited about this because based on like the packaging and everything, I think this is probably supposed to dupe the Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, and I haven't bought the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I'm excited to try like one, a color I don't normally wear in a blush, but also like a shimmery blush. Like it's a blush and glow. I normally do matte blushes, so I'm really, really excited for that. Then I did pick up the Essence Harley Quinn um highlighter this is in the shade rebel this is the blue one i think no this might be the pink one this is the pink one i think it's really really hard to tell oh yeah this is definitely the pink one it's like a duochrome like pink and gold there was also a blue one but i decided to go with the pink one you guys know i had to pick up the new like nyx blushes I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed. I'm so excited. This is the Buttermelt Blush in Butter Together. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so obsessed. I'm so obsessed. I love this packaging. It's so much like bigger and heavier than I was expecting. I'm obsessed. I also picked up a bronzer. It does smell like a little fruity. Which I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting there to be a smell. And if I, there was a smell, I assumed it'd be like a sweet smell. But it is like a little fruity. Then I also picked up the Buttermelt Bronzer and All Butted Up. All Butted Up. <laughs> okay. This one kind of smells like lotion. And a little bit like the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Maybe that's what they're going for. Oh maybe maybe i love this packaging i'm literally so obsessed this is the cutest packaging i love when packaging is like the same color as the product but like not where it's see-through but where it's like this like the same color as what's inside these are so stinking look at that that's like i need like a white one they need to do a highlighter do they have highlighters in these It'd be like neapolitan ice cream oh my god okay anyway moving on I also picked up a palette. This is by Revolution. It's the Enchanted Icon palette. It looks so stunning. I haven't like had too many eyeshadow palettes really uh, strike my fancy lately, uh, other than like big rainbow ones. But like, aha, there was tape. Oh, oh, these are creams over here. 
Like, what? That's very odd to me, but there, these last two shades over here are creams. These are creams. I was more impressed by like these two shades. I want to swatch those ones. Oh. Girl, oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those are very light swatches, but like, those are so reflective and beautiful and I cannot wait to put them over an eye look. Then I also got the Revolution Diamond Glow Highlighter, Beam Bright Silk Touch Highlighter. I don't know what all that means. I'm not gonna lie, not really super genius to put like a clear plastic like seal what was that? Not super great to put like a clear plastic seal over a clear container because like I genuinely am struggling to see why this isn't opening. Finally got it. Um, so yeah, I got this highlighter. Which hopefully isn't going to end up being too light for me. No, I don't think so. I think that'll be perfectly fine. We have one product left. And I did it, I bought one. I got one of the Half Magic Eyeshadow Singles. It's in the shade Elven Things. The packaging on the outside, absolutely beautiful. And from what I've heard, this is uh, compostable. Yes, it says right there, compostable. Ooh. Yes, yes, it's like a green brown shift. I'm so excited. I don't usually buy eyeshadow singles, but I've heard so many good things about the Half Magic ones that I'm just so, so excited to try them out for myself. It has been such a long time since I did like just a little haul like this, and I'm really excited about it. I basically probably haven't been doing one because I was trying not to spend like too much money. Um, not that I want to start spending a ton of money either, but it was really nice getting to sit down to this little haul with you guys. <laughs> If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell. That way you know when I post the Amazon haul, which will be coming up next. Because I did do both. I just want to know which ones you guys wanted to see first. So we do have a lot of makeup coming from Amazon as well. As long as all these products are still available, I will link them down below for you guys. So make sure to check that out. Um, yeah. I post new videos every single week, usually on Wednesdays or Thursdays. Make sure you subscribe so I can see you in the next video. Bye!